Let's go play. Let's go play. Go girl. Yeah, you go girl. Morgan Krug knows how to communicate with her pets. Drop. Good job. Beep. Good girl. Catch. Yeah. And like most animal owners, usually knows when they want something by reading their body language. More pets. <laughs> but now her daily interactions are even stronger, she says, thanks to a set of buttons with pre-recorded words that her pets can push to express themselves. Wet food. I started off a skeptic. I knew that they could request outside or specific toys. For Frisbee. Oh. Play. Frisbee play. But the level of clarity uh, that they're able to give you via the buttons is just unparalleled. And there are things that I've learned, even as someone who has worked professionally with animals for 16 years, that I would not have known otherwise. Beep. A dog trainer by trade, Krug is using a system called Fluent Pet, where she can use her own voice to record words. Ball. This has been especially helpful for her cat, Jasper, who is blind. Kibble. Having the buttons and a voice when she doesn't have her, her eyesight to navigate by has really enriched her life in ways that I could have never anticipated. I think a lot of people just really want to connect with the animals they share their lives with. Bunny. Help. So thanks to buttons, we're seeing people report behaviors and interactions with their dog or their cat that, to me, as someone who has a background in cognitive science, uh, I find totally astonishing. The company has also developed a Fluent Pet app that owners can use to collect data on their pets and keep track of what their dog or their cat has learned over time. So I've been logging Jasper's data for close to two years. I'm able to see what her most pressed uh, buttons are. Federico Rosano, a professor of cognitive science at the University of California, San Diego, is conducting a huge study on the use of recordable buttons between people and their pets. Just like any tool, uh, not everybody needs to use it or learn how to use it, but for some people, for some animals, this could be useful. Pets, kibble training. One thing is clear, systems like this hold a lot of promise for future advancements in human-animal interactions. What does the door want? Outside. Okay, let's go. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Glen Allen, Virginia.